came on to this. You know, around four months ago, I installed Windows 7 on an old Asus Aspire X1430. Around one month ago, I installed Windows Vista on that same computer. But now that got me thinking, if I already installed Windows 7 and the operating system before 7, why not the operating system after 7? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we go, we're on the screen. So, we got our USB stick right here that we're going to stick into the computer, turn it on, if I can find the power button, and spam that F12 key. While we do that, let's switch the input of the monitor to HDMI 2 and I just knocked my camera. Alright, here we go, we're in the boot device selection menu. So let's select the USB stick. There we go, Windows 8 logo. And wait. All right, here we go, Windows 8. So let's set the time and currency format to UK. Next, install now. Oh, I forgot about this. Well, I have a key over here, so let's see if this works. Yes, okay. Windows 8 Pro, I accept. Next, custom. This computer is currently running Windows Vista, but I'm going to wipe it in favour of Windows 8. So disk part, list disk, just to check. It's always disk zero, I don't know why I always check. Cell disk zero, clean, clean. I cannot type today. Disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. All right, so let's refresh. Drive zero, unallocated, next. All right, here we go, installing Windows. So now that this thing is installing, let's start a time lapse. Pick a colour you like and give your PC a name. So let's pick oh, that purple will do. This monitor brightness is just horrible. Let me fix that. Okay, it's a horrible resolution, but... Alright, this will work. Pick a colour you like and give your PC a name. Any name you want. You'll be able to personalise more later. So let's go with... Let's go with that purple. PC name Aspire X1430. Uh, let's customise this. It's your first time on this network. Do you want to turn on sharing between PCs and connected devices on this network? Uh, yep. Uh, that's good. Yep, that's good. Yep. Turn that off. Next. Sign in without a Microsoft account. Local account. Whale. Finalizing your settings. Okay. So we're just going to do a time lapse until we get to the desktop, then I can install, um, then I can do resolution stuff and whatnot. Alright, we're in, and I forgot that it doesn't take you to the desktop, it takes you to the start screen. Yeah, this is horrible to use with a mouse, but I can work with this. So first, we're going to change the screen resolution because it is absolutely, uh, Settings, power, restart. 
There we go, and hopefully that will fix driver issues because I literally just yanked out the HDMI cable while it was running. Please do not try that at home. Do not yank out the HDMI cable of your computer while it's running. This looks like 1080p to me. It got my monitor name. This is indeed a BenQ GW2270. And it got the resolution. Nice. And we will get the sound working. That was easy. So yeah, I think we are done here. We have successfully installed Windows 8 and yeah. Oh, and I forgot about this. I forgot about the lock screen background. So yeah, I'm calling this episode a win. We installed Windows 8 on an old Acer computer in 2024. That's the goal of the video and we did it. We also got internet and graphics drivers working. So yeah, that's going to be it for me for now. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!